Hi there, Sandra here. Today I've got a cute little Easter pop-up card to make and it's really, really simple. I've got my pieces cut out and I have folded them along the score lines. Now I've chosen a graduated card for this one because I thought it would probably be quite well suited to it and it's not the sort of card that I'm likely to use for anything much unless I'm making 3D stuff. We have three T-shapes here. One of them, you'll notice, is a lot smaller top to bottom than the others. This one goes between the two halves of the card, you'll see soon enough. The other two have little fold tabs. The very first thing we want to do, once you've got all your pieces folded, like so, is to decide which is the back and the front of your card. If you've got white card, you can do whichever you like, but if you've got a color, you wanna make sure that the color is facing this side. Pull it all the way through, like so. Fold it along that crease there, and you wanna put glue underneath there so that when this stands up, that will be vertical, okay? So I'm gonna do that on this one first of all. And just a little bit of glue on this bit of tab. There we are. So push it all the way up in the slot and then press it down into place. Oops. Make sure it doesn't shift. That's always a good idea. All right, so that one done. Take the other one, do the same thing. Put the glue on there, like so the first fold and press it down. So that's what it does. Okay, you can see that little bit there. So the next one you fold for the top side of it, you want that bit to be glued and you want that to go up there. So basically you fold it from this second fold Put the tab glue on, like that, tuck it under, and you can tell when you've got it in the right place because it will be not far away from the wavy border at the top. If it's too far down there, you've got it in the wrong place. It's near to the top of the border. I'll let that dry off. And again with this one, do the same thing, fold it from the other crease. So this is basically the hardest bit the entire card. So as you can see, not very difficult. So these two are going to be put together. This shorter piece, T piece, in here. Now it's up to you if you want to put it to one side, whether you want it in the middle, wherever it is that you want it. Leave the very top of it blank, but just put some glue on there like so. You can flatten it down and do it if you want to do it that way, just make sure it's even with the base. And that gives you something to stick elements onto when it's put together. Line them up properly. You can do it flat or you can do it together all like that and then flatten it afterwards. It makes very little difference as long as those edges are lined up. And again, let that dry before you move it. So that's done glue these tabs. Try and get the glue up to the join. Close it up like that. Make sure you get the bottoms level. And then this one, do the same thing. And the actual process of constructing the card itself is complete. The rest of it is just decorative. So this card does fold flat when it's actually finished. You don't have to put it into a box to post it. I have done a piece that goes on this back edge. You don't have to use it, you can use it if you wish. I'm actually using it as a support for one of my larger graphics. I've got a load of bits cut out. You might have seen the video where I cut these with my Julia. And this one I want to put in the back. Now, you might notice there are some score lines there which weren't supposed to be there. And that's because I'd picked this scrap up and I hadn't realized it has some score lines in it. But since I am going to be putting this on here anyway, it makes no difference. It's going to be covered. And just put a bit of glue on. Now these images are not ones that I drew. I got them from Pixabay. I happen to like using Pixabay from time to time. And when it comes to Easter cards, it isn't something I'm going to do very often. So 
I didn't really want to bother designing my own images. And when they have such very, very pretty images anyway, why worry about it? So I don't need to have much glue on the back of this, just about half a centimetre. Oh. That looks pretty nice, even as it is. <laughs> looks pretty nice. So here's my finished card. I've got lots of rabbits in here. I've got some chicks. I've got some chicks in eggs. I've got some middle plants. And I did put a little butterfly just on here. So this will fold flat like that and it will just pop up when someone wants to put it on display. It's very, very simple, very cute and a really easy, nice project to do with your cutting machine. I'll see you again soon. Take care now.